Francine Prose's essay, Caravaggio, Painter of Miracles, explores the enigmatic life and revolutionary artistic achievements of Michelangelo Marisi de Caravaggio, one of the most influential painters of the Italian Baroque period. Prosa's essay delves deep into Caravaggio's tumultuous life, his unconventional artistic style, and the profound impact he left on the art world. Prose begins by setting the stage, painting a vivid picture of the chaotic and unpredictable world that Caravaggio inhabited. She describes the streets of Rome in the late 16th and early 17th centuries as a place where murders, thefts, and assaults occurred daily. This atmosphere of lawlessness and danger is crucial to understanding Caravaggio's art, as it influenced his choice of subjects and the raw, unvarnished realism that characterized his work. One of the central themes of Prosa's essay is Caravaggio's fascination with the miraculous in his art. She argues that Caravaggio's obsession with depicting moments of divine intervention or revelation is a reflection of his own tumultuous life. Caravaggio, born into a world of poverty and violence, sought salvation and redemption through his art. His paintings often depict religious scenes with an astonishing level of emotional intensity and realism, such as, The Supper at Emmaus, where the disciples' expressions of shock and awe are palpable. Prose highlights Caravaggio's innovative use of chiaroscuro, a technique that involves the dramatic interplay of light and shadow. This technique not only added depth and realism to his paintings but also served to accentuate the miraculous elements in his work. Prose writes, in the hands of another artist, that light might have created theatrical melodrama. Instead, it served to underscore the work's message. The author also delves into Caravaggio's unconventional approach to his subjects. He often used ordinary people as models for biblical and mythological figures, defying the conventional norms of his time. Prose argues that this choice was a deliberate attempt to bridge the gap between the sacred and the profane making the miraculous more accessible and relatable to the common people who viewed his art. Caravaggio's personal life was as tumultuous as his art. Prose details his numerous run-ins with the law, from brawls and public disturbances to even a murder charge. She suggests that Caravaggio's turbulent life, filled with both moments of profound inspiration and self-destructive behavior, was inextricably linked to his art. His own experiences of violence and suffering allowed him to infuse his paintings with a raw and visceral quality that resonated with viewers on a deeply emotional level. Throughout the essay, Prose carefully selects examples of Caravaggio's work to illustrate her points. She discusses The Calling of St. Matthew as a prime example of Caravaggio's ability to capture a transformative moment of divine revelation. In this painting, the light falling on Christ's outstretched hand symbolizes the moment when Matthew is called to follow him, a powerful representation of the miraculous intersecting with the mundane. Prose also analyzes the denial of St. Peter to showcase Caravaggio's talent for conveying complex emotional states. The anguish and fear on Peter's face as he denies knowing Christ are palpable, and the use of chiaroscuro intensifies the drama of the scene. In conclusion, Francine Prosa's essay, Caravaggio, Painter of Miracles, offers a profound exploration of the life and art of Caravaggio. She masterfully conveys the artist's tumultuous existence and his relentless pursuit of the miraculous in his work. Prosa's analysis of Caravaggio's use of chiaroscuro his unconventional choice of models, and his ability to capture profound moments of revelation reveals the depth and complexity of this Baroque master's contributions to the world of art. Ultimately, Caravaggio's paintings continue to resonate with viewers today, transcending time and place to convey the enduring power of the miraculous in the human experience.